have this issue where uh, hip hop music is really promoting gun violence um, pretty heavily. And, and what it does is it filters into the minds of uh, young black teenagers, uh, who, some of whom, if they're misguided, um, can end up in the middle of that gun violence. I still got our own attitude, but I care who I hit. If I go do something, I'm, I'm gonna care who I hit. I'm gonna care who I see. I won't shoot while little kids, but that's what some people don't care though. If you look at this spat between uh, the rapper Chief Keef and Lil Jojo, um, Lil Jojo did a, vid a diss video of Chief Keef and his gang. And in the video, all these kids from age 14 to 18 are holding handguns and assault weapons and all kinds of stuff. All up in my face, back, face. I told that bitch get back, I need some fucking space. Nah, you ain't with the shit, so stop playing games. Nah, you ain't with the shit, so stop the fucking flex. Fuck, fuck, trying to wipe a bitch, they out here stretching. You wonder where a kid gets that stuff from. And a week after he made the video, JoJo ends up dead. If Oprah or Barack had grown up in the same circumstances as little JoJo, they would probably end up dead or in prison. They wouldn't be on TV. I wonder why my babies don't get no sympathy. I know symphony for their current state. Why white kids go to counseling when their parents separate? But my babies can see a drive-by on their way to school and still get more tardy for being late. I guess there's no empathy for the empty, no respect for the neglected. Since trauma is so normal, and you wonder why these shorty shoulders are chilly like hormone. It's hard to be pleasant and sweet when there's no food to eat. And as a young black male, you feel like you're food in these streets. And the only time you feel warm is when you're holding the heat. How you covered in your grief? Chief Keith on repeat. Bang, bang. We all love hip hop music. I believe it's currently being used as a marketing tool to promote specific behaviors such as the gun violence that we're talking about. And there's a, there's a certain population that that is geared towards. And it just so happens to be African American, male and female. You know, in Africa, you have people that make millions of dollars by selling guns to both sides of civil war. So they're happy when war is happening. War is good for business. Uh, weapons manufacturers tend to do really well when people are killing each other. So in the black community where you do have a little bit of chaos, you have people that profit directly from making guns available uh, in inner city communities. Now, I've also studied hypnosis and other type of, uh, I guess, processes that allow you to tap into the unconscious and the subconscious mind. And so oftentimes you'll hear people say they don't like the song, they only like the beat. And if you notice in certain genres of hip-hop right now, there's a very specific cadence that exists in the music. And it's almost entrancing. You know, sometimes you get like a, a clap rhythm, you know, and it just go and go and go. And it's almost trans-inducing. And so anything that you hear, certain cadences, and I, I don't really want to go into the technicalities of it. There are specific rhythms, uh, there are very specific frequencies that will help to lull the conscious mind to sleep in order that things may more readily go into the subconscious mind and thus impact behavior that way. Uh, I'm not going to call out any specific rappers or any specific lyrics, uh, but I can guarantee you, you can turn on any popular radio station right now, and I guarantee you that whatever song is playing, you can identify at least five references to some sort of violence, whether it be gun specific, sexual in nature, or just some type of overall generalized intimidation. You know, our state has uh, well over 200,000 children in foster care. The breakdown of families and neighborhoods, the impact of poverty and, and, and crime um, has unleashed emotionally, psychologically, I think, uh, a sense of anger. Uh, and on the other hand, now there is this sense of entitlement. And it's the other side of capitalism that hits these communities. The way they respond to it is, if you don't give it to me, I'll take it from you, even your life. 